melancholy with the overhead cloud and distant sky this old palace of udaipur is a historical landmark deeds of the kings of tripura previously udaipur was called rangamatti in the historical past rangamatti was the capital of the mock kings of arakan king udamaniko defeated the mock kings invaded rangamatti made it the capital of tripura and also named it after himself udaipur in 1567 It is known that the Manipur kings came to Tripura in 590 AD. Jodhrapha, the tribal leader, defeated Likaraj and established his kingdom. But in 1661 AD, Chhatramanikko made this palace. This Chhatramanikko is Nakhatra Rai who is known for Rabindranath, Rajarshi and Vishwarshi. The ruined remains are spread over a large area but even some of the zamindar households of East Bengal are bigger than this. But we can get a brief idea about the households of the kings of Tripura 355 years back in the 10th chapter tripura rajya or rajdhani vibaran of the novel tripur deshe katha by tripur chandra sen arjun das boyadi and ratnakali sharma has mentioned there is a 9 feet high brick wall surrounding the palace in front of the fort there is another 9 feet high mud wall attached to the brick wall existence of the mud wall is unclear from today's perspective but the temporary structure present in front of the building unknown from the description of these two messengers the door of this fort is south facing there is east west room inside there are brick structures of 7 and a half feet high on both sides there is a road in between through which two elephants can pass easily the room has no doors all day open the room is basically an armory this room was called rupadwar as its door was made of silver and there was a silver pot The kinghood of Ram Manikko, father of Rathno Manikko, the room was burnt, and there has been no door ever since. The exact location of the room is not certain, as it was temporary. But there is no doubt that it was in front of the fort. There was a shona dwari ghar, gold door room, from where important jobs were directed. Influential people used to gather and talk in that room. There is a room beside made of bamboo and wood. The walls were made of brick. The room was twelve feet high. After three rooms, there is a cross wall made of brick. After that, another two rooms. Inside that room, from south to west, there is a staircase through which there is a corridor for the king to come in and go out. Those two rooms were exclusively for the king's guard. In those three rooms. There are mattresses on which pillows are set 
and thrones made of ivory for the king. From that room, there is a brick wall which is connected to the rear wall. Inside, there are rooms made of bamboo for the king, surrounded by coconut and palm trees. No one could enter the king's sleeping room as there is no description about it. No doubt the king's security was paramount. Before Chhatramanikko claimed the throne in 1660, Govinda Manikko became the king of Tripura, successor of Kolan Manikko. Soon after he lost the throne to his stepbrother Nokhatraj and kept living in the secret shelters of the Ryams. Nokhutra Rai sat on the throne by the name of Chhatramanik, but his tenure was rather short, merely six years. After his death, Govindamanik reclaimed his throne and became the king of Tripura. But the kings of Tripura couldn't enjoy the palace for too long. King Krishna Maniko left Udaipur forever and started living in old Agartha. Though it is not certain as of when exactly Krishna Maniko left Udaipur. But Shamshir's death was in around 1760. Thus it can be said that the kings of Tripura lived in the old palace of Udaipur for not more than a hundred years. But still one can feel the breeze of the past, joys and sorrows of the people around the premises. This old palace holds proof of numerous events of conspiracies, vengeance and many more. Strangely, Ravindranath Tagore has never been to Udaipur, but he has immortalized Govinda Maniko, Nakhodra Rai, Raghupati Purohit, Hashi, Tata, the old palace, Bhuvaneshwari temple in his Rajoshi, and Vishwarja, and that unforgettable line, Eto Rokto Kalak.